Hey, my name is Jonathan, and I'm a university student. I'm getting a degree in peace studies, as in war, <laughs> and peace studies. And I also already have a degree in Middle East studies. And if you are a student, a university student, that's acquiring huge amounts of debt, student debt, taking out huge amounts of student loans, then you are a slave to the capitalist structure. And if you've already graduated in the last five years, you know what I'm talking about, because it's all that debt you are acquiring. You cannot, you basically cannot live where you want to live. You can't really have the job that you want to have. And basically your values and your dreams for your life are fucked up because of all that debt. So you are a slave and you're really not that much different than a black slave in the 18th century. Cause, and it's really sad because like a lot of, there's a huge high percentage of American women right now that are actually selling their bodies and resorting to prostitution in order to pay off student loans because the income they get from prostitution is income that the government cannot attach. So like a lot of women, if you're not aware of that, a lot of American women are actually becoming prostitutes to pay off student loans. Really bad. Well, picture yourself in the context of a black slave in the 18th century. Because your slave master bought you, paid such a huge price for you as a human being, and you're a commodity, and basically you are indebted to your slave master because he provides you a job and he provides you the skills to survive in a slave industry because basically he teaches you English, okay? He gives you another religion, he gives you Christianity, and he has given you the skills to survive in a slave economy. So you're indebted to your slave master. It's not like you can leave because you're, you're going to be fucking lynched if you leave the plantation. So like you're indebted you're indebted to your slave master. So, like, you are no different than a slave. So what are you going to do? Like, are you going to stay a debt slave, which is what you are, and, like, continue paying off your loans year after year after year until you're, like, dead? Like, until you... Obnoxious truck over there. Like, okay, you're going to be paying off loans for at least another decade until you're, until you're like, have a midlife crisis. You'll have, a, you'll have an early midlife crisis because of all those student loans you're paying off. You're, whoa, a big spider there. Cool, I love spiders. So, yeah, so what are you going to do? B remain a slave or are you going to, like, cast off the burden of being a slave and refuse to pay off your student loans? Now, if you do that in as an individual, you will be lynched by your white slave master. You will be lynched by the capitalist structure if, you, as an individual, you refuse to pay off your student loans. But if students in mass organize students together, whether you're graduated or maybe in school, I don't know, but like organizing to refuse to pay off student loans because you deserve your education. You deserve your higher education for free. You do not deserve to pay one cent of a higher education because you are the one that is, you're the one that's giving back your education to the capitalist structure. So they should be able to give you an education for free. So organizing to refuse to pay off student loans, not as an individual, but together, students need to organize refusing to pay off all that student debt. So that you will be free indeed. You will be a free citizen and not an enslaved citizen, enslaved by debt, by the capitalist structure. So together organize, refuse to pay off your student loans. See, this is like the yoke. This is the yoke that you have as a student. Debt. <laughs> this is debt. Okay? This is your student debt. Oh, you get the point, okay. Refuse to pay off student loans. Organize as alumni. I love you very much. Bye.